cycle consists of isothermal, polytropic and adiabatic lines with isothermal process proceeding at maximum temperature. Find the efficiency if temperature varies and fold. So this is how the curve will look like. So it's given that isothermal proceeds at maximum temperature. So this line is isothermal line. Then we have two more lines and both will be curves. So which one is adiabatic and which one is polytropic they have not given. So let's take both of the cases. So in the first part, we'll take uh, the polytropic curve to be sharper. So this is polytropic curve and this is adiabatic. So if polytropic curve is sharper, that means if it is represented by PV raised power alpha, then alpha is greater than gamma. So this is the polytropic process. Now the efficiency of the cycle. So this is adiabatic. So there is no heat gained or loss. This is Q1, this is Q2. So efficiency is one minus Q2 by Q1. Now we know for isothermal process, the heat is nRT ln v, V2 by V1. So temperature is, is Nt ln V2 by V1. And for polytropic process, we know heat is n naught c into delta T. So delta T is nT minus T and C for polytropic process is R into 1 upon gamma minus 1 minus 1 upon alpha minus 1. So let's try and find the value of V2 by V1. So for that, we are going to use the adiabatic process, which can relate V1 and V3. And then we will use the polytropic process, which will relate V2 and V3. So from those two relations, we can get the relation between V1 and V2. So let's do that. So for 2 to 3, which is polytropic process. So V into T raised power 1 upon alpha minus 1 is constant for polytropic process. So we'll write it for 2 and 3. It will be like this. And for adiabatic, same equation except of uh, except alpha, we will get gamma here. So now we need the ratio of V2 by V1. So we'll just divide these two and that will give us the required ratio. So we put this ratio here and we put the values of Q1 and Q2 here and we get our answer. So this is the case one where we assume that this is polytropic and this is adiabatic. Now let's take the other case where this is adiabatic and this is polytropic. So this is adiabatic and this is polytropic. So now again, the efficiency is going to be same, not same, sorry. It's a, uh, I mean, it's going to look different. So one minus Q2 by Q1. Same in the sense Q1 in both the cases is isothermal process and Q2 in both the cases is for the polytropic process, even though they look different. So Q2 here looks like this, Q2 here looks like this, but the equations of Q2 and Q1 are going to be same. So Q1, for example, so Q1 for the isothermal part, it is still n naught R N T L N V2 by V1. And Q2 is still n naught R C into delta T. But in this case, because Q2 has got to be positive and adiabatic curve is sharper, that means gamma is greater than alpha. So if gamma is greater than alpha, then this term will become negative and we don't want that. So we'll just uh, put a minus sign, which will change this equation to this. So again, actual equation of Q2 is going to be same, but because we want positive Q2, we will, we are going to make this quantity as positive. So this will look like this since Q2 is positive and gamma is greater than alpha. Now for the other two equations, so our original equation in previous case was this between two and three. So there it was adiabatic process here. Sorry, in the previous one, it was polytropic process, but between two and three, this time it is adiabatic process. So alpha will change to comma and between three to one, previously it was adiabatic process, but this time it is uh, 
polytropic process so gamma will change to alpha so this is how the previous three equations which we wrote here this was the first equation second equation and third equation so all of them will change to these three equations for this process so dividing these two we will get the ratio of v2 by v1 to be this and now if we calculate 1 minus q2 by q1 so q2 will be this and q1 will be nr nt ln v2 by v1 so we'll put the value of v2 by v1 here and we'll get our answer and you can see that this answer is same as this answer so efficiency of the process does not change even if uh, so if this is polytropic and this is adiabatic or if you make this adiabatic and this polytropic the answer is still going to be same the efficiency of the cycle is same